Good morning, Greyhounds. I'm Marissa Castilleja. And I'm Santino Navarro. Welcome to another edition of the Greyhound Express Weekly Growl. Let's dive right into our top stories for this week. Our reporter, Emily Pineda, got to sit down with our principal, Mr. Anderson, to discuss a new hall pass system that is coming to JHS. Let's jump into that interview and listen to what we can all expect in the upcoming weeks. Thank you for joining us, Principal Anderson. Could you tell us about the new program being implemented at Grandview High School in this upcoming weeks? Well, thank you for having me. And yeah, I can tell you a little bit about it. It's basically a digital hall pass system. So instead of um, you know writing out a pass like people normally would, uh, you would log it into the computer instead. And so there's these preset locations and preset uh, teachers that you can say, hey, I'm going to go over here for a certain amount of time, five minutes, ten minutes, whatever it may be. That sounds intriguing. How does the Smart Pass system differ from traditional educational models? Well, you know, actually a lot of schools are going to this type of a model. It's, um, you're able, it's, it's quick and easy, really. It's just efficient. It's an efficient way to make sure students go to the location that they need to go to, and it helps um, keep our school orderly, and it uh, also, it tracks. And so if students are abusing their privileges, then we can set limits on how many passes they get. Um, and it also enables teachers to know, like, oh, this person's been out, you know, 25 times in the past two days, maybe there's an issue there. So it, it, there's alerts and you can also prevent um, people from going out at the same time. So like, you know, boyfriend and girlfriends, they like to meet <laughs> up or, you know, whatever. It, it, you, we might have to place restrictions in there, again, if only if people are abusing their privileges of leaving the classroom. So. Can you walk us through how the Smart Pass system is implemented on a day-to-day -day basis? Yeah, so the way that it works is that the student actually like applies for a pass. So they'll pull their computer out, they'll say, hey, I gotta go to the bathroom, make a couple clicks, I'm going to the bathroom, and then they just show the teacher, hey, can I use the restroom? And the teacher will say, sure, or well, hold on, maybe in five minutes. And that's it. It's as simple. It's really as simple as that. Um, in the mornings, however, when students arrive late after 745, we will have some kiosks set up in the front of the, um, the foyer, basically. And if you come in late, then you'll need to, again, say, hey, I'm, I'm going to Mr. Bunker's classroom and away you go. And it just keeps it keeps kind of a log and keep, keeps track of that. And so, if you don't arrive to Mr. Bunker's class, then we may send out the search party looking for you. How will you measure the effectiveness of the Smart Pass system within our building? Well, I think um, one of the ways that you can measure it is simply whether or not our hallways are clear. And we want to make sure that students are where they need to be when they need to be there. And so if somebody says, hey, I need to go visit Mr. Anderson, and the teacher says, go ahead, um, this system will enable us to know whether or not I'm there. We don't want someone to come down all the way down to the office and then I'm over at the district office or somewhere else. And so it, it just it, it improves communication and it improves efficiency across the system and we will be able to um, collect data and to know if more people are out of the classroom or um, if we are in um, doing what we would like to do, which is to maximize the time that students spend with authentic learning experiences inside the classroom. What outcomes or improvements do you expect to see from this implementation? I expect to see greater communication among our staff members and among uh, 
uh, people, like for example, I think one of the benefits might be if a, t a teacher it has a special project, like they want to go out and film the eclipse or something like that, then they can simply log that into the SmartPass system and there, there's more of an awareness around, hey, these guys are in the DECA store. These guys are out filming the eclipse. These guys um, are, you know, going to, you know, baseball. Um, so there's a lot of different ways that we can utilize it, and it'll be interesting to see um, what benefits do come out of it. I think there's some unseen ones that we just can't really predict right now, and that's why this particular program or this particular um, system, it's a pilot. And so it, what that means is we don't know if we're going to implement it fully next year or not, um, but we're trying it out to see if it, it will help our school. Looking ahead, what are your hopes for the future of the SmartPass system? Um, yeah, I think I kind of answered that a little bit. Um, sometimes it's unpredictable to know what exactly um, the benefits will be, but again, we want efficiency, we want um, greater communication, and we want to be able to keep track of all of the different students that are within our care. And so um, just um, one last thing that may come out of this is if there's like a lockdown that's called during lunchtime or, um, you know, in between classes, then this system can also be used um, like checking in or, um, you know, uh, this student is in my class so I can easily determine, all right, hey, uh, I need to get a hold of this particular student. I can look up in the system, oh, they've been marked safe in Mr. Charvet's class. So that's another um, added benefit of the system as well. Okay, thank you for your time and we're looking forward to seeing what happens with this program as it is implemented. Marissa and Santino, back to you. Thank you. Thank you, Jacob and Mr. Anderson. It will be interesting to see the outcome of this trial. It will, Santino. Next, let's welcome our weather person, Maritza Mendoza. Maritza, what can you tell us about this weather for the, last, for the, for the rest of the week and the weekend? Welcome back, Greyhounds. It's time for your weather forecast. Today, let's look at the weather outlook for Grammy, Washington, where sunny skies and mild temperatures are in store for the week ahead. According to AccuWeather, Monday kicked off with partly sunny conditions and a high of 65 degrees, perfect for enjoying some outdoor activities. As we move into Tuesday, we saw a mix of clouds and sunshine with a high of 67 degrees, providing ideal weather for any outdoor errands or plans you may have. The clouds o caused overcast conditions that did cover up the eclipse a bit. Wednesday brings up more of the same with partly sunny skies and a high of 68 degrees, making another great day for to soak up some sunshine. Heading towards the end of the week, Thursday sees a slight increase in cloud cover, but temperatures remain pleasant with a high near of 70 degrees. Looking out into Friday, the weekend around the corner, we can expect partly sunny skies once again with a high of 69 degrees, perfect for any Friday evening plans you may have. As we wrap up the week and head into the weekend, Saturday begins with a mix of sunshine and clouds with a high near of 68, offering a great opportunity to enjoy some outdoor, outdoor recreation or relaxation. And finally, Sunday rounds up the forecast with partly sunny skies and a high of 66 degrees, providing comfortable end of the week activities. So Greyhound, it looks like we are in a week for pleasant weather in Grandview, Hi Grandview, Washington. Remember to stay hydrated, wear sunscreen, and enjoy the sunshine while it lasts. Thank you, Maritza, for that sunny forecast. Indeed. It looks like we have some great weather for ahead for the Greyhounds. Next up is our sports report featuring our own Lindsay Padgham. Lindsay, what can you tell us about our Greyhound, Greyhound athletic programs and beyond? Good morning, sports fans. I'm Lindsay Padgham. Here with your latest sports update from over the weekend. In tennis news, our Greyhound team faced off against Efreda in a tough match, unfortunately falling short with a final score of 4-1. to one. On the baseball diamond, our team battled it out in a doubleheader against East Valley. Over the weekend, despite their efforts, they came up short in both games. Boys soccer brought an excitement in a thrilling match against the East Valley Red Devils, but ultimately fell short in the end. But amidst the losses, there is still plenty to celebrate in the world of sports. Senior Evan Benitez had made waves in the wrestling scene, representing our school proudly in the NHSCA High School Nationals in Virginia. 
Competing in the 126 pound weight class, Evans showcased his skills and determination, ultimately securing a remarkable fifth place finish in the nation. This achievement has earned Evan All-American honors a testament to his hard work and dedication to the sport. We'll be catching up with Evan before our next broadcast to hear more about his journey and what's next for this talented athlete. That's all for now in sports. Stay tuned for more updates and highlights right here on the Greyhound Express Weekly Growl. Back to you, Marissa and Santino. That is great news about Evan. What an accomplishment. I look forward to hearing from Evan about his experience. It's pretty incredible to think about what Evan did out there in Virginia, placing fifth in the nation at his weight class amongst all those top competitors. I know I look forward to see what is going to be happening in Evan's future. Next up, we're going to jump over to Mr. Chervet and his updates on the entertainment news. Mr. Chervet, what are some things happening in the entertainment world? All right, thanks Santino and Marissa. In the world of entertainment, the 2024 ACM Award nominations have everyone talking. Leading the pack are country music stars Luke Combs, Megan Maroney, and Morgan Wallen, with their exceptional talent shining through in multiple categories. Meanwhile, power couple Tom Holland and Zendaya continue to make headlines. Zendaya recently expressed her pride in Tom's career, praising his handling of the spotlight with grace and authenticity. In other news, Robert Downey Jr. has responded to Jimmy Kimmel's joke about him at the Oscars, showcasing his trademark wit and charm. Music icon Beyonce is making history once again with her hit Cowboy Carter reaching the number one spot. Plus, fans of Billie Eilish have something to look forward to as she gears up to release a new album next month. Over in television, comedy legends Ryan Gosling, Matt Damon, and Lauren Michaels recently helped induct Chris and Wig into the esteemed SNL Five Timers Club, celebrating her comedic genius and contributions to the show. But it's not all glitz and glamour. Troubling news has emerged surrounding actor Alec Baldwin's emotional state on the set of Rust, as well as the legal troubles facing musician Morgan Wallen after a recent incident at a Nashville rooftop bar. On a lighter note, the CMT Music Awards saw country stars like Lainey Wilson paying tribute to the legendary Toby Keith, while theaters are getting creative to entice audiences back to the big screen. As the, inter the entertainment world continues to evolve, from music to movies to television, there's always something newsworthy happening in the spotlight. Stay tuned for more updates and behind-the-scenes gossip right here on the Greyhound Express Weekly, Weekly Growl. Back to you, Santino and Marissa. Thank you for that entertainment roundup, Mr. Charvet. Lots is going on in the world of entertainment. I, uh, oh, go ahead. <laughs> I am looking forward to those many summer blockbusters that are slated to release. Next up is Adrian Ariagi with a segment in health and wellness aimed at improving your lives at GHS. Adrian, what can you share with us? Hey there, Greyhounds. It's Adrian Ariagi here with your health and wellness segment focusing on tips and advice to help you live your best life at Grandview High School. First up, let's talk about the importance of staying active. With busy schedules and endless distractions, it can be easy to forget to prioritize physical activity. But getting moving is essential for both your physical and mental wellness being. Whether it's joining a sports team, hitting the gym, or simply going for a walk with friends, finding ways to stay active can boost your energy levels, improve your mood, and help you manage stress. Next, let's discuss the importance of nutrition. As high school students, you're constantly on the go, juggling classes, extracurricular activities, and social commitments. But it's crucial to fuel your body with nutritious foods that provide the energy and nutrients you need to thrive. Opt for whole foods like fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and whole grains, and try to limit your intake of processed foods and sugary snacks. In addition to physical activity and nutrition, it's essential to prioritize mental health High school can be a challenging time filled with academic pressures, social dynamics, and personal struggles. But remember, it's okay to not be okay. Reach out to trusted friends, family members, or school counselors if you're feeling overwhelmed or stressed. And don't be afraid to ask for help if you need it. Taking care of your mental health is just as important as taking care of your physical health. Lastly, let's talk about the importance of getting enough sleep. As teenagers, your bodies are still growing and developing, and sleep plays a crucial role in this process. Aim for eight to 10 hours of sleep each night to support your overall health and well-being. Establishing a consistent sleep schedule, limiting screen time before bed, and creating a relaxing bedtime routine can all help improve the quality of your sleep. Remember, Greyhounds, your health and wellness 
are paramount by prioritizing physical activity, nutrition, mental health, and sleep. You can lay the foundation for happy, for a happy and fulfilling life. Stay tuned for more health and wellness tips right here on the Greyhound Express Weekly Growl. Back to you guys. As we wrap up today's health and wellness segment, remember that taking care of yourself is the first step to success. Whether it's staying active, eating nutritious foods, prioritizing mental health, or getting enough sleep, small changes can make a big difference in how you feel and perform each day. So Greyhounds, let's make a commitment to prioritize our health and well-being as we navigate the challenges and opportunities of high school life. Stay tuned for more tips and advice to help you live your best life right here on the Greyhound Express Weekly Growl. Well that, was a, well, that about wraps up this episode of the Weekly Growl from the Greyhound Express. We look forward to bringing you the next one. For now, we say goodbye and take care, Greyhound Nation. Until next time, take care of yourselves and each other. Stay healthy, stay happy, and stay proud to be a Greyhound. Go Hounds!